One of the options in a Zoom meeting is to share your screen. The host can share their screen. They can also allow participants to share their screen as well. In this instance, the host is on a phone and the participants are on computers. So when the host is on a phone, they can share whatever is on their phone, be it a document or a web page. They can even share the phone itself and show how to do something, or they can share their photos. Um, the participants then have the option of annotating over whatever the host is sharing. So this is how you annotate and it looks different depending on what device you're on. So if your participants are on phones, when the host begins to share, the participants that are on phones, they have all the annotation tools just pop up and it doesn't say anything about annotate. They just see um, pens and pencils and arrows and things pop up at the bottom of their screen and they can go to clicking and drawing all over the place automatically and then they have an eraser tool as well. It's a little bit harder for those on a computer. On a computer it's not as obvious so when they wiggle their mouse around they're going to see a green bar. A lot of times it's at the top but it doesn't have to be at the top. So it could be at the top and it says you are viewing whoever the host or whoever is sharing the screen, you are view viewing their screen. Beside that is a view options tab and it has the down arrow or the down carrot and you can click that. And you're going to see a lot of different size options and then below that, kind of hidden, is the annotate button. And when you open the annotate button, all of a sudden we have a lot of tools at our disposal. We can add a text box, we can draw, we can add a stamp, arrow, there's our eraser, and then we can change the color. Undo, redo, clear all of the different um, marks that we've put on there, or we can save our drawings. So let's say for instance that the teacher has pulled up this picture of this horse and has said, I want you to label his head, his hooves, his tail, you know, and has told the class, let's label the horse. So I can get my drawing tool and I'm going to get some arrows and I'm going to label, whoop, let's pull that around. That's a really tiny arrow. <laughs> Let me get a big arrow. There we go. Ah, draw a bigger arrow. And the format, let's get the width and maybe make it bright yellow. Yeah, there we go. There's a leg. And so you'd be able to see how that works. Oftentimes we can also use these stamps these are very quick and easy formative assessment tools. Maybe um, I have used it a lot to say, you know, what do you think? Let's let's do this. Um, yes or no, and just draw that out and say, you know, put put your stamp there. What do you think? Yes or no? Yes or no? And then they'll just stamp. And I think. My um, stamps are going away because I'm just a participant and not the host. But they would stay there, you know, if you were the host. And that's quickly how you get to annotation tools. Then you can clear your work and then the host can take control over again. So there's a lot of different uses for that inside that virtual classroom inside of Zoom.